Hey everybody. Well, it looks like Microsoft is at it again with Windows 11. And I'm talking about the Windows 11 minimum system requirements. I actually come across this Neowin.net article. Um, it was in my Facebook home feed. And it says Microsoft might soon block force installing Windows 11 on unsupported CPUs via bypass. That's great. Wonderful news. So that means now computers that do not meet the Microsoft Elite class minimum system requirements around Windows 11 simply will not be able to run Windows 11. Microsoft's basically saying, screw you, use Windows 10. Your computer is not Elite class enough for a new operating system. Yeah, that pretty much. Um, now get this, when you read further into the article, which I'll put a uh, link into the description, it says Microsoft recently updated its list of supported Intel and AMD processors. While the company added a few new Ryzen chips, including one which has not been released by AMD, Microsoft somewhat bizarrely removed many Intel CPUs that were previously on the list of compatible CPUs. So, basically, computers that had a few specific Intel processors were previously delamped Elite Class certified for Windows 11, now will not meet the Microsoft Elite Class minimum system requirements on Windows 11. And that's why I call these minimum requirements the Elite Class requirements, because they're ridiculous. I mean, you read along in this article, they talk about, um, of course, experiences with people installing Windows 11 on older CPUs like Core 2 Duos, for example. Much older hardware that's been around for a long time and Windows 11 running really well on it. Microsoft is to the point where they're saying, no more. No more. So it makes me wonder um, how they're going to enforce this because this is yet to actually happen. We'll have to see what happens when Windows 11 23H2 comes out later this year. It's interesting because Windows 11 23H2 is supposed to be an enablement package, not a full-blown feature update. So I made a video not long ago talking about that and how there's a possibility that computers running Windows 11 22H2 that don't meet the Microsoft Elite class missing requirements on Windows 11 could possibly upgrade to 23H2, but who knows, that may not happen. So, what this is going to cause, number one, it's going to cause people to stick with Windows 10. And, of course, Windows 10, with just under roughly two years of support left, I mean, in 2025, <clears throat> there's going to be a lot of computers out there that are still in use because I mean why throw away a computer that still does a job for the person who owns it or uses it like why throw that machine away um, so there's gonna be people out there still using computers and they're gonna be stuck with Windows 10 and when Windows 10 support ends I guess they're just gonna keep using Windows 10 because apparently Microsoft is going to double down in matter of fact as I as I reference in this article they're also removing CPUs from the support list. Yeah. So, computers that previously could meet the Microsoft Elite Class MSS requirements on Windows 11 will no longer meet the Elite Class system requirements because they're even more Elite Class with the um, removal of previously Elite Class compatible CPUs. Isn't that wonderful? Another thing it could cause is a potential e-waste nightmare because some people will fork up the cash and either go buy a new PC that's Elite Class certified or build a new PC that meets the Elite Class system requirements um, deemed by Microsoft for Windows 11. And that's going to result in a lot of old, well, according to Microsoft, useless hardware that's going to be, well... It's going to be e-cycled or put to reuse, and that will probably be a huge um, plus for Linux. Because let's face it, uh, a lot of people are not going to throw away these computers. And those who are tech savvy may consider just jumping off the Windows ship altogether and getting onto the Linux lifeboat and using Linux instead. Because let's face it, Microsoft. I mean, ever since Windows 8. Windows 8 was kind of the downfall. I remember, it's funny, I remember 10 years ago thinking the PC was done when Microsoft came out with Windows 8. 
because Windows 8 was a total disaster. I seriously was in doubt of the future of the PC at that time. Um, it was li like literally Microsoft was thinking that everybody should just use a smartphone interface for what they're doing regardless of the device they're using. And, I mean, just the decisions overall they made with Windows 8, 8.1 made it a little better. Windows 10 was sort of an improvement, still not as good as Windows 7. But with Windows 11, although it's a shiny, nice operating system, those elite class system requirements, yes, I call them elite class requirements. And the fact that Microsoft may consider enforcing those requirements, like making them hard requirements, to where you can't use a simple um, hack like Rufus or whatever to bypass them, it's, it's not looking good if they do that. So they may want to reconsider. And this, another thing is, considering the sheer number of computers running Windows 11, <laughs> like this system right here, Midtower Lux, the Qcomputer Plex CNR, for example, another system, running Windows 11, despite not meeting the Microsoft Elite class middle system requirements for Windows 11. So, a lot of computers out there running Windows 11, despite not meeting Elite class requirements, um, What's Microsoft going to do? Prevent you from upgrading to the next build? Well, they, they already do that, pretty much. You in Previously, you'd have to manually install the new feature build to get updated to the new feature build. Um, but again, are they just going to make it to where you cannot install a new feature build? If they do that, um, well, that's going to cause a security issue in about two years when the current... Windows 11 builds support ends. I mean, well, actually, think about it. Windows 11 22H2 support ends next year. Because, I mean, uh, to my understanding, I mean, two years of support for every uh, feature build. So, in two years, I mean, next year, really, because, of course, Windows 11 22H2 came out last year. So, we shall see. We shall see what happens. But, the thing is, if Microsoft doesn't allow you to install Windows 11 23H2 because your system does not meet the elite class minimum requirements, I mean, I guess you could still install 22H2. You may not receive updates from Windows, but you may still get more updates for third-party software like Google Chrome or whatever because a lot of these programs don't really seem to... In the darn understanding, these programs don't seem to pay much attention to the build number of your operating system. They just look at what version of Windows you're running. So that's just, that's just kind of my thoughts on this. Um, if Microsoft really does make make it a hard requirement that your, that your computer must meet their elite class system requirements, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good at all. And again, it's why I call the Windows 11 system requirements the Microsoft elite class minimum system requirements run Windows 11 because they are elite class and they're even more elite class when they dock previously compatible CPUs from the list. So, it's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can know if I new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.